Tyson, get down, baby. Oh, the Dookie's home, yeah. Tyson, you happy Dookie's home? Ty, Ty, stop. Pee pee boys. Come on, let's go in the house. Hi everyone, it's Money Saving Coupon Gal, and I just wanted to come on here and do an update on Duke. As you can see, my big boy is home until we get the lab results back, which will probably be the middle of next week. He, um, isn't doing, you know, really any better as far as, you know, the eating or anything like that. He still really hasn't eaten, so that's why he has the tube in his nose. I have to feed him six times a day through the tube with Ensure, and then um, I guess we just wait for the test results. But I'm happy he got to come home. They were had first said that they might send him home yesterday. Um, well, let me back up. We didn't do the surgery. I think I told everybody we were doing the surgery. We didn't do the surgery because the day that they were supposed to do it, the um, vet had called me, and after consulting with a couple of other vets there, um, they felt that we should not do the surgery unless we were absolutely sure it was going to be able to help. They were going to do the surgery to do a biopsy of the enlarged lipnoids that um, are in his stomach, and also they were going to see if he had any, <clears throat> excuse me, any obstruction in his intestines. Since he ate a quarter can of food for him, um, I think it was yesterday, they said that they did not think he had an obstruction, which sadly to me means they are still leaning towards the lymphoma. Um, so anyways, they said that they didn't want to do the surgery if they didn't need to. And once I found out what it entailed, they needed to see all his organs. So they were going to do like a big incision. I was completely against the surgery also. I don't want to put him through that unless it was absolutely necessary and would help him. At this point, we don't know that. So they've sent the lab work to another lab, which is more advanced. And they have... Um, I guess equipment to do a special test and they are they only do the test on Monday I think Wednesday and Thursday so they overnight it to them so they should do the test on Monday and then it has to um, um, I forgot the word but it has to you know more or less sit for a few days couple days or whatever before they can actually read it so we're kind of just at a standstill until we know. They were going to send him home yesterday, but he did not eat anymore after that quarter can, and they didn't want to send him home with a tube until they knew how he was going to tolerate it. They did try to do it first in the nose, and then um, the veterinarian called me last night and said that they were going to, um, he didn't handle it well, and I guess he was sneezing a lot, so they were going to do it in the esophagus, so they were going to make an incision and do the tube that way, which they thought he might tolerate better and would be easier for us to feed him also. Um, unfortunately, when I spoke to him today, he said that it did not work in the esophagus because for some reason, I don't know, his is not where it normally is or something like that, and so he couldn't do that, so he ended up, as you can see, still had to put it in his nose. Um, they gave me these really big syringe things. I have to fill these up with food. He gets, today he gets six feedings of 60 cc's. Uh, tomorrow he gets six feedings of 120 cc's each. And then every day after that he goes to 200 cc's every feeding 
for six times a day. So I'm hoping he tolerates it and will let me do it because if not, then you know he'll have to go back to the hospital, which none of us wants. Um, he's also on medicine for vomiting, diarrhea, and for a uh, food um, an increase in wanting to eat. Um, so hopefully that helps also. So he's already had his medicine this morning. He just needs two of them. He takes twice a day. He needs them at eight o'clock tonight. So he's still got four hours left where he needs those. And um, they said I could try to feed him regular food if he'll eat it, but if not, I have to do the insure. So please, you know, send us some good prayers that he will eat canned food, whatever, some chicken and rice, anything, so that I don't have to do this. And if he starts eating that, they will take the tube out. Um, I don't know if you can see it I wasn't sure what they meant when they said they had to do it in his nose I thought like there was going to be a tube there and I had to squirt it in there which was really kind of making me nervous and I was freaking out a little I have to admit because my husband's working a double today and is working late tomorrow so I would have to do this by myself but um, they have it in his nose but then it's up on his head and they have it stitched to his head and then the the tube opening is like at the back of his neck. Um, so with this, I don't know how easy it's going to be to get to it with this um, e-collar because you know these things are plastic and hard. I do have this that we bought him when he had surgery on his leg in November. But the vet said be very careful with taking one off to replace the other one so I'm going to wait till my husband is home tonight so that he can help me. I thought I could maybe put this one on and then take the other one off but this one kind of is hard to get around with that one because it's so big so I'm going to see how that works. Um, also he's got the big incision here. I said well, not big but it's it looks like it's a couple at least a couple inches wide um, and that one kind of is sitting not far from that so I don't want it to be hitting where he has the incision where this is um, very comfy and thick and it velcros so it's really nice so if your pet oh it's dirty inside sorry um, if your pet ever needs this I got this off of Amazon I think it was like $30 or something for I think I got the extra large so it's worth it well worth the money um, so that's it this here's the tube I have to flush it out um, and then I have to feed them so I've never done that before so please wish me luck please keep the prayers coming for Duke um, like I said we still um, you know, are not out of the woods by any means. I was going to feed him when we came home this afternoon, but I think he's so comfortable being back home. He's just been sleeping, and I don't want to bother him at this point. I'm going to let him rest and kind of, you know, get back to um, maybe some energy if he's resting and everything. I do want to say on a sad note, though, my friend um, Susan, who has been there since day one, she's a big animal lover like we are, and um, she has a golden retriever, and she takes her vet to the same hospital. Actually, she always goes to that. That's her regular vet there. And she called me up last night, and or I had texted her, and she said, oh, I'm at the hospital here. I had to bring Logan in because um, his foot was all swollen. So she took him in, and they shaved it, and they thought he had an infection and stuff. And um, well, she took him in yesterday morning. Let me back up. She took him in yesterday morning. Then last night she said they had to bring him in on a stretcher. Apparently his other leg or other foot was bothering him and she could not um, get him to walk at all. So luckily her neighbor was home, was able to help her pick him up and put him in her car and they went to the ER. They, she thought she was bringing him there for just another infection on the other foot. And... Um, this morning I asked her if she had heard anything. She said, no, I've been waiting for a call back for 90 minutes. I'm, I'm dry. I just drove there and I'm sitting in the waiting room now. She called me a little bit later. We were texting and then she said, oh, the doctor's here. I'll let you know what's going on. She, text, she called me crying that her dog has cancer and she had to euthanize him. So it's just really hard because she's like us. She feeds her dogs the best food. 
we we're so careful what we give our dogs we're so careful and you know making sure they don't eat junk food and we buy them like they're on all natural food no grain no corn no chicken no nothing they're just we really make sure and and then for her to find out after um taking her dog in there last night thinking that he was just going in for an infection and come to find out the reason he couldn't walk was that the cancer was in his bones so bad that his his leg had fractures all in it and he was in so much pain and so I immediately got ready went to the hospital to be with her and I actually missed my vet then because the tech failed to tell him that I was in that room um, waiting for him to come and get me so um, I ended up having to talk to him on the phone which was fine because their tech his tech actually went over everything with me that I needed and stuff and my vet just came in on Saturday today it was his day off he just came in to check on Duke to see how he was doing so I'll, I'm very grateful that he just came in and last night he was there he called me at 7 30 last night it was way past the time he was getting off so I I can't complain at all with him he's been so great and actually we're switching to them and that's going to be our normal vet but anyways um i just wanted to say that you know love your love your fur babies because you never know how long you're going to have them and sometimes you take them in for just a little something and it turns out to be something big and you end up losing them in a heartbeat and it broke my heart to be there and watch that but i just i wanted it wasn't just me she had her sister and another friend there and we were all there because she's just a great person a great animal lover and it just breaks my heart that she went through this and she in seven months she has lost three of her fur babies she lost two dogs um, earlier this year and it they passed away I think a week or two week two weeks of each other so she's been through hell and back so please say a prayer for her too that she to help her get through this very trying time um, I wish I could be there for her right now and go and just hug her, but unfortunately I have to stay home with Duke, so I hope that um, if she does see this video, I hope she knows that I love you, girl, and I'm so sorry you had to go through that today. So everyone, please say a prayer for Duke and for my friend Susan, and um, I'll keep you guys updated on Duke. And thanks everyone for all the love and the prayers and everyone asking about him from Facebook to YouTube to people I've never met have been so loving that it means so much to me. And um, I just love you all. So um, thanks everyone. Bye.